boy is attacked by a neighborhood dog, and this is not the dog's first victim. Good evening. Thank you for watching. I'm Todd Blackington. Brenda's off tonight. A vicious dog attack in Idaho Falls sent a four-year-old boy to the hospital, leading many to wonder why this dog attacked again. Stuart Summer spoke to the young boy's mother. He joins us in the studio with more. Stuart. Well, Todd, last October we first reported about this aggressive dog attacking neighbors on Lovejoy Street in Idaho Falls. And in that report, we said that the dog had been relocated to comply with orders from the city animal control. We have recently learned that the dog was never sent away, and two weeks ago it attacked again. Now, some of the pictures you're about to see are graphic. I thought he was going to die. It was the most horrible thing I ever went through in my life. I started screaming, call 911, I picked him up. Amanda's four-year-old son was playing with a friend at this house in Idaho Falls when he was viciously attacked by a bull mastiff. These pictures were taken by a cell phone camera shortly after the attack and vividly show the injury. At the hospital, surgeons acted quickly and were able to repair most of the damage, but two weeks later there are still unanswered questions. It makes me really mad because the homeowner had obviously known that it is possible that this dog could hurt. Amanda wants to know how the dog has been able to continue to terrorize the neighborhood even after repeated citations from animal control. So the type four or five people prior to my son, which I had no knowledge of. The dog's owner, Tiffany Jones, spoke on camera last year about the accusations of her dog attacking neighbors. In that interview, she disputed those claims by saying that her dog has never bitten anyone. Attempts to contact Tiffany about this recent attack went unanswered. Amanda and her son, Tui, are hoping this will be the last time the dog will cause harm to anyone. And they're also seeking something else. I like apology and more from everybody, and I want everybody who is responsible for this to be held responsible. Um, not more than just an apology, but in other ways, too. And I was told today that Tiffany's bull mastiff was supposed to be put down last Thursday, but it was delayed because she was appealing that decision, and neighbors I spoke to today say they've had run-ins with her dog in the past, and this could have been an avoided tragedy. Todd?